So for today, we're going to be looking at the Destiny 2 slash PlayStation partnership, ownership. I don't know what the fuck is happening, uh, but uh, well, yeah, we're going to we're going to see through the TWAB, which is weird considering the TWAB should this should have been in the TWAB, but I feel like I want to make this its own video so that way people can actually see my actual thoughts on this because I have I have gotten questions here and there specifically from my streams. I am streaming on YouTube again, so if you guys want to look through that um i highly suggest it i have a schedule which i still have not posted but uh i'll post that uh probably right now in a little bit i don't know we'll see either way uh hello and welcome to another installment of this week at bungie our weekly source of news and chatter from around the studio nothing too wild happening this week right just your normal monday morning announcement of bungie joins sony interactive entertainment well okay that is kind of a big deal if you haven't heard much about it well, well, we've joined Sony Interactive Entertainment. There's a lot to unpack here, and we highly recommend reading through our announcement article from Bungie CEO P Pat, Peter our Parsons and our Destiny 2, our shared vision article. I'm not going to look at any of those because I don't want to. Uh, so from this picture right here, one community multi-platform. Destiny 2 will stay on all current platforms and expand to new platforms. Two self-published creatively independent bungie maintains full creative control and publishing independence of the destiny universe three same game everywhere every player should have an amazing destiny experience no matter where you choose to play so those are like i guess the outlines they they chose to do with uh with playstation the my only question is how is this going to better destiny 2 is this is playstation just interested in actually i probably should read these two just because they probably do explain it and i don't want to be talking out of my ass uh oh these are that's pretty small this is not so small but let me see here so let's actually look bungie's break is only path okay whatever as a destiny 2 player does bungie become part of playstation uh what as a destiny 2 player does bungie becoming part of playstation have an immediate impact on how i play and experience destiny 2. no our commitment to destiny 2 as a multi-platform game with full cross play remains unchanged we want you to play the witch queen on february 22 2022 on the platform of your choice will the destiny 2 experience on non-playstation uh platforms be impacted by bungie becoming part of playstation no we want to maintain the same great experience you already have on your platform of choice will any announced seasons events packs or expansions be changed or impacted by bungie becoming part of playstation no bungie retains full creative independence for our games and our community our plans for the light and dark saga are unchanged all the way through the final shape in 2024 does this mean that after the light light and dark saga sony can actually tell you what to do at that point because that's a pretty way pretty pretty weird way of specifying that because you could have just said our plans for the light and beyond saga and beyond so this kind of makes me think after the light and dark saga are done sony's gonna at least have some say in their creative uh influence like the to be fair, Sony's pretty cool with like letting their devs do whatever they want sometimes. Um, so we'll see. Will Destiny 2 The Witch Queen include any platform exclusives? No, The Witch Queen will not contain any platform exclusives. Every player should have an amazing Destiny experience no matter where you choose to play. Will crossplay feature uh platform features like cross save, cross play, the Destiny 2 companion and third and like uh Bungie has feature games in de development. Will they now become PlayStation exclusives? No, we want the worlds we create. What? What the fuck is the point of you joining PlayStation then? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, creative Freedoms is taking the flight in 1991. I don't care about this dog. Yeah, okay. So I don't know what the fuck is the point of them actually joining. I was hearing in the grapevine that the the ip that bungie was working on matter was going to be exclusive to playstation which makes sense because that's the new thing but now from our shared vision it says where, where does it say no we want the worlds we, we are creating to extend to anywhere people play games uh like 
PlayStation has to have like some benefit from getting this because it just sounds like, no, we literally control everything. And then it's like, then why would PlayStation buy you outside of like the obvious like, oh, Microsoft, you're buying all this cool shit. I'm going to buy Bungie, the, the thing that made you guys a thing. So other than that, I don't see a point. Not only that, but it's also like, well, you guys make the game better than like you guys have all this money. Not only that, like all of your all of your uh, devs are getting what was it a million dollars worth a uh, retention incentive like your devs are good with money apparently if they take it and you guys got a like what, what was it two billion or some shit like that are you guys gonna make the game better for the players or are you just gonna be like we'll pocket this money and then further develop a matter with it while leaving destiny 2 how it is now because I would really love for Destiny 2 to drop the price. Like if 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 Destiny 2 really wanted to fucking wow me right now and be like, we have money, we have like this and that, we have devs to help us make content and all this other shit. Uh, the biggest changes I would love to see from Destiny, from Bungie in general, would be increased content. As in, I want Forsaken, uh, Forsaken size expansions again, because we already know that Witch Queen is not going to be that big. We already know Witch Queen is going to be the smallest one. So I want to see future. I want to see Forsaken size expansions again. I want to see seasonal content actually be good, uh, gameplay and story wise. Story they they're getting better with it, but I want content to be better now. Uh, I want the Eververse store prices to drop dramatically. Not like, oh, this is a dollar. I would be okay with armor pieces being like five to ten dollars, not 15. 15 is outlandish, but ten dollars, 30 bucks for, for an event. That's doable compared to 45. I know it's a 15 dollar difference, but I wouldn't be mad if it was like five dollars per armor set because, again, I don't know. That's just me. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go down on that. I think the prices are fucking outlandish uh, considering they they have like a free to play pricing model for their store. Yet this game is not free to play. It's free to try. Um, I would also like, yeah, more content. Honestly, more content. Drop the prices in Eververse. Uh, start putting in more like I would actually say stop putting a, a lot of what Eververse has and put injected into the game now because you have a backer now, like you have money now, like you theoretically could make Destiny 2 much more. I'm tired of being fucking laughed at because I play Destiny 2. So that would be cool. Will it happen? No, probably not. It's probably going to go through. Uh, the money's probably going to go through either the higher ups are probably just going to be like, all right, well, you get 10 million. I get 10 billion this, or not 10 billion. You get 10 million. I get 10 million. You get 10 million. And then like the rest will like do something with it i don't know maybe put it towards uh matter or something and i just i don't you know, whatever dog not really i don't know this, like when i heard about this oh bungie got bought out by sony i was like whatever i don't really care like nothing's gonna change uh the only thing that i can see happening is destiny 2 becoming somewhat playstation exclusive i mean like they get like exclusive raids or exclusive i wouldn't say raids actually that's pretty outlandish unless like the only the only way i can see them doing that this is if like some uh someone outside of bungie was working on the sony exclusive stuff obviously bungie would send someone to like oversee something but i can see like a playstation uh dev company working to do exclusive stuff for destiny 2 that'd be wild uh I could see matter becoming a, a PlayStation exclusive for at least like a time limited excuse uh, exclusive or like just forever exclusive because as much as they say that they want this game to be multi-platform and all the other promises I just don't trust Bungie like at the end of the day like they've they've done nothing to win my my trust at all the seasons have been getting good yes but this expansion also seems like it's going to be the smallest one we've ever seen. And that it's already that's already red flags for someone who has to pay it like a hundred something for Witch Queen for less content. So, you know, 
and that's that's not even me like i actually paid 200 and something because i my dumbass bought the collector's edition which in hindsight or not even hindsight i'm probably just going to return it because i just don't feel i don't feel like it, the price it warrants it so that's my thoughts i feel like bungie's just going to end up doing playstation exclusives somewhere down the line because if not then this purchase from sony was dumb but let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on the social media links in the description below i thank you all for coming to the support and i'll see you guys later